I'm Shane White, and this is The Process. Hi gang, Shane White here with another installment of Inking Style. Today's style is called Deadline. And deadline refers to the idea that the line work that you put down has no bounce to it. It doesn't have any thicks or thins within the actual stroke. The reason why I like this approach is because it offers a very clean look. It lets the color fill do a lot of the heavy lifting and it's unobtrusive. If you can hold your hand steady and make some really clean curves and lines, you'll get a better product in the end. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm working with a pit pen, and I prefer these pens because their ink capacity is, is much greater than, say, Micron. The one I'm using now is a M, which I believe is medium. They have about four or five different grades or sizes of pen, and I'll illustrate that here later. Uh, medium, fine, small, and extra small. And then there's a brush pen as well, and I think those come in two different sizes, uh, much larger, which is a, a B, and maybe a smaller one, but I, I can't remember right now. The style is very similar to animation type illustration where you could come in and do kind of anything you want with a color, whether it's shape based color or gradient color, it really opens up a lot of possibilities. What I like to do is I'll separate the largest shapes by using the thickest pen in outlining. Here you can see the different thicknesses of pen, and this will give me an idea of how I treat the medium and small shapes. I'm using the S pen for the next level of detail. These are the secondary lines that are not shape based. They're contour lines, detail lines, things that help separate each of the details from each other. technique several years ago on a freelance job that I had with a video game company and it kind of stuck with me. I could see the use that it would provide me for a different look depending on the kind of project I was working on. Sometimes when I'm working on a comic project I like to change up the style and approach and if I was doing something that was more color based I would probably choose this style over anything else just because it leaves a lot for the colorist to really explore whether it's gradient fill or shape based coloring or even just using Zipatone. And the other reason why I like it a lot is that it's really fast. There's so little that you need to do to create volume with Blackline because it's going to be all done in color or halftones that you just burn through all the line work and move on.
Now there's a couple ways to go about doing this as well. You can either leave it with just line work, which would be very open and very clean, or you can go in and spot blacks for shadows or real basic shapes. switched up pens again and I'm doing an even smaller level of detail which I want to help separate from the first and second line. Now if you're using other pens say like Micron the idea is that you get enough distance between your thick outline and your inlines. So say on a, if you're using microns, if you use an 8 for the outline, you could use a 5 for the inlines for all the lines that are doing the secondary levels of detail. You want at least a, at least two steps of distance between the two, otherwise the perception of that line difference doesn't really show up. And if you're doing a third line, third level of detail, then you'll probably want another two steps under the middle choice. So if you're doing a, an eight for an outline, a five for an inline, you might go with a three or whatever Micron does uh, in their naming convention. With the pit pen, you can see the difference in the uh, sample that I had done previously, which helps give you enough distance between the, the line work. Now here I'm using a Pentel brush pen. These are available at jetpens.com, which I absolutely love. These are really great, real portable, they keep a consistent point, and they have refillable cartridges, so you can just drop in a cartridge as soon as the ink is done. I haven't tried to refill the cartridges myself because I'm not sure if the ink is special. I know it's waterproof, but I don't know if it's thinner than normal ink. And if it is, I might actually try to take some Rapidograph ink. And Rapidographs are a mechanical pen, which are used for drafting sometimes. Usually like technical drawings for manuals or and sometimes even just for pure pleasure for comics. I think Art Adams uses Rapidograph pens. So those tend to have thinner ink. So I, I might actually try filling one of the cartridges with, with that ink and see if it works. That way you, know, you can save money. By spotting blacks, this will help hold the, the shape of the illustration. It gives it weight, gives you focus, and it lets you help the eye grab onto something. Because when you have a lot of outlines, your eye will float. It doesn't have enough for the eye to grab onto. Now you, you see here, I'm doing the, the finishing pass. Now what's important about the finishing pass is that you get all the corrections that you need made. 
I'll use a whole bean white gouache, which is a pretty good gouache. It's solid, not as transparent as some of the other gouache that I've used. And this gives me an opportunity to go back and forth between fixing mistakes and emphasizing lines or clarifying some of the points that I might have missed in the line work. It's important to be able to take an illustration to its natural conclusion, its natural finish. I think sometimes in my past I've been good in the beginning or in the middle phase of an illustration, but my finishes were always lacking. I think that's what helps separate the pros from the amateurs, so keep that in mind. These characters are from my graphic novel, Brawn, which is available at ShaneWhite.com as a webcomic. I'll be doing a Kickstarter for it here in the very near future, so please stay tuned for that. Well, that's it for Deadline. Hopefully you can add this style to your toolkit, and if it really works for you, please share it in the comments below, and stay tuned for more inking style on the process. And as always, thanks for watching.